Good morning and welcome back to the lovely Connecticut. Got back in late last night. Sleep is for the week. We're gonna get right to work. We have a ton of stuff planned coming up, but before we get to any of that, the truck, the trailer, and the rot rocket need to be cleaned up so they can be stored away properly and we can go over the rot rocket and see exactly what we need to do so that the next time we use it, it'll be in tip top shape. I wanna thank you all for the support in the last few E36 videos. They have done phenomenal and obviously Obviously that wouldn't be possible without you guys so thank you so much I hope you guys have a happy holiday and we're just gonna get right into the action it's not gonna get any warmer here so we gotta get this stuff done before it's not possible and it's snowing let's get right to work baby see you guys on my Joby mount like my boots check these hogs out Ew. All right, it is freaking cold. It's only 37 degrees, but obviously using water outside with the little breeze makes it absolutely brick. Now we get to go stay warm in the garage, but first we need to unload this car, unload the stuff out of the bed of the truck, and put the trailer away. So let's get to work, baby. All right, let's see if this hot rod starts. Also, I didn't show you, but I have my 110 in here. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. Please start, please start, please start. <laughs> this car is so good! Oh, hell yeah! Started up like it's a brand new car. Love to see it. All right, back in the shop. I wanna get right back to work on the JZX, but that means we have some moving around to do. And unfortunately, when we have to move one car, we have to move pretty much all of them. I know, I know, first world problems, but um, just a lot of moving around and I have the heat going, so let's make this quick. Are you ready? And just like that, we got the stuff moved around. So now we can bring the JZX back down, kind of give ourselves a refresh on what we got done before we left for Florida and what we need to do to it today to make as much progress as possible. Actually, that reminds me, while we were gone, we got an order in from Dishworks with the remaining fittings we need to finish up the fuel system. So before we put the car down, let's get that done right away. Also, I need to show off my little DEI Dishworks station. I know I've showed it off before, but I'm just so freaking stoked with how it came out. Everything's organized by size, fitting, color of fitting. I mean, it's just forever grateful to have awesome partners like Dishworks so I can have fittings in stock, anything in stock for that matter, so I can get as much done as I can while I'm in the shop. Let's get to making a damn line.
complete, they came out incredible. I ended up pulling the fuel pressure regulator back off of the block where we had it installed to install the link pressure sensor so I can run fuel pressure. So if the link sees anything it doesn't like, it'll cut boost. I'm trying to make this car as seamless as possible. Let's get this stuff thrown in and I'll show you guys the final result on the entire fuel system being complete. I'm working in my garage. This random Australian walk in. What are you doing here, oh, Jason? See what I can type, then I? Yeah, right. <laughs> Welcome to America, brother. You guys don't remember a few months ago when Jason was here, he was hinting that he was moving here. I'm here. <laughs> right before Christmas, he's here. So he moved pretty close, actually, probably between Jimmy and I. And uh, he's here for a couple months and can't wait to hang out. We're gonna do some awesome shit. Do, you, do people know you're bringing your cars over? Yeah. He's shipping a few cars over, some Australian specific cars, which is even cooler. I think it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna buy some mines, cool. I can't I wait. Find some events. He didn't tell me it was gonna be all snowing and windy. Yes, I did. <laughs> this dude's like, I'm moving, I'm moving there in January. I'm like, why? <laughs> He's like, it'll be fine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Guess we have to do some road trips this winter to get out of the cold. 100%. Good morning. It's been a little bit since I picked the camera up last. I spent the last pretty much entire day reorganizing the shop, cleaning it up for the winter. <sighs> Wheel storage, everything pretty dang organized. But that brings me to the point of this segment. The lathe. When we originally got it, my buddy Mark helped me pick up the machine. The guy I was splitting the deal with um, told me he would give me all the tooling for it. It's been months. I still haven't gotten the tooling. It's been sitting here as, as a dead weight. So I got it for free. I'm passing it on to the next person for free and hoping they'll have more use out of it than I have. And the plan is to get a new updated metric lathe so we can cut metric threads hopefully get something that has tooling and is a little more user friendly because this thing's like 150 years old, 140 years old, and uh, the limited tooling really is killing me on being able to use it. So let's get this place cleaned up so they can pull it out of here. And on to bigger and better things. It's all good, it happens, I'm not upset, but uh, I just wanna do what's best for me and spending a few thousand dollars on tooling for an old machine I'd rather spend it on a new machine. So let's get to work, baby. Good morning, guys. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. I've taken some time off, but we're right back to it. And we are behind the barn, which I don't think you've been back here in a while. The last time you saw me pour a slab. And now we have 90% of a shed built. We're getting it sided, I believe tomorrow. But the most important part is we have to get power hooked up and airline ran into the garage. So Mr. Tom should be over later to finish up the power. I'll show you what we did first. We have six wire running out here to a all weather disconnect, I believe. And then we also have the disconnect on the compressor itself. We mounted, to the, we mounted the compressor to the concrete with some anchors and rubber mounts. And in the process, we broke this 45. So I'm gonna get this swapped out now. And then I'll show you guys how we're running the airline into the garage. I think it's gonna be pretty trick. Well, I'm pretty sure I just filmed that entire segment without the mic on, so I apologize. But I'll explain what we kind of did. I broke the fitting off the pressure switch, so we had to replace that. Now we're gonna fill up the compressor with one and only Valvoline's 30 weight non-detergent oil. The reason for the non-detergent is because detergents will gum up the inside of the compressor. We don't want that. So I can't not give you guys an oil pour challenge. No funnel gang featuring Jimmy jokes. We basically have to fill it up halfway up that line. So let's see how we do. I'm pretty proud of this one. I'm trying to look at two different places. Oh! At the same time, it's pretty difficult. I'm trying to look down there and up here at the same time and film. This is interesting. Oh no, I hope I got enough oil. All right, so here's what I'm thinking for the line. Don't mind this. We have siding for it. It's getting put up this week, like I said. But since I want to put some sort of dryer, filter, regulator on the wall here, 
I think I'm just gonna follow Mr. Tom's conduit for the wire. Go up. And he already drilled me a hole in the ceiling, which is gonna be sick. I can't wait to show you guys the setup we're gonna do in the garage, but it's getting really dark really quick, so let's get this knocked out. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Good evening, Mr. Thomas. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to <laughs> What's up, dog? Pressure time. So, Tom. Finally finishing. What'd you say? Finally finishing. A couple months later. Sorry. Hey, you know what? Don't it's apologize. Busy. It's busy. It's, busy. it's Christmas. It's holiday season. It's it Christmas. happens. Christmas. It's not a big deal. It's for the kids. <laughs> it's for the kids. And I'm one of them. So. I've been cleaning up the garage while Tom finished wiring the compressor. Hey, what are we doing about these? Are we just putting covers on those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> All right, let's go see if this dang compressor works. It's been sitting for so long, it might be asleep still. Oh, this came out nice, Tom. So we got the disconnect here. You ran a whip down from the disconnect okay, we'll to the. this after. Okay. You yeah, that's fine. There, and then it's I'll fine. Come out with the other light. All right, I'm gonna stand out. Give it to me. <laughs> Woo! That's quiet. That's Dude, it's really. Uh oh. Why is that thing pin? Oh, it's going back down. No way! I filled up 150 feet inside that. You don't even that. Wow, that thing builds pressure quick, huh? I wonder what's the point of that thing? That's probably just that's probably just pressure in. motor pressure. Oh, sorry. Look. <laughs> oh, oil pressure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I cannot believe how quiet you this thing is. Left it in the garage. <laughs> I know it's kind of. It's so quiet. It is unbelievable. Shout out Ben Pack. It only took us like six months to get this thing going, but you didn't see I got the line run up into the building. We have something special planned for next week. I did a drop out here. God, this is so disgusting. I did a drop out here so we can drain any of the water out, but that is impressive. It's already at almost 50 PSI on an 80 gallon tank. Hell yes. Oh, I'm so fired up. So we did run, I haven't explained this yet, because it's not finished, but we did run an additional 110 out here so we could do an automatic tank drain, which will be really nice. I'll just plumb it out, we won't have to worry about it, but hell yes, she's running, baby. All right, so I have Tom going outside. I'm gonna stand at the wall next to the compressor. Ah, oh, the stupid heater came on. I wanna hear how loud the compressor is in here. Let's see if we hear it. We are literally on the other side of the wall. It's so quiet. You can hear it, but barely. I guarantee. Yep, can't hear it anymore. Oh, I'm so fired up. I've been changing tires here for the past two years with this compressor right next to the tire machine. If you want to hear how loud this thing is. Now I'll be able to change my tires and not hear a compressor. I am so fired up. Massive thank you to Ben Pack for providing the tire machine and the air compressor. Just ordered an airline kit for the shop, so we're gonna hide it all up in the ceiling Drop it down, it's gonna be freaking sick. I cannot wait. Just so happy this part of the, the shop is getting complete. Tom, you can barely hear it. Like, nice. standing against the wall, you can hear just You have the radio on if you're sitting here talking. Oh dude, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> dude, I just showed them. I was like, you wanna hear how loud this is? I see the EQ spike on the... It's nuts. We, I waited way too long to do this, but obviously funds play a big role into how quick I can do things in the shop. So, you know, obviously going to Japan and stuff takes a 
priority on certain things and then I never get anything done in the shop. So I think that's gonna be it for this. See you guys in a couple days. We're back now, post Christmas, back to work.